Hi, my name is David Gann, and I'm an instructor with SAS. To give you an example of the type of material we cover in our course SAS Enterprise Guide 2, Advanced Tasks and Querying, let me show you a simple method that allows you to report on the top ranking values within groups. Perhaps you want the top 10 values, or the top 5 values. More generally, we can call these top N reports. Here is one such report that contains the five highest selling product groups within each of the three order types, catalog sales, internet sales, and retail sales. The original data has many more product groups within each order type group, but none sold as well as these. The trick is to generate rank values for total sales for each record within each group. Once we have the rank values, we can subset for the top five ranking values only. From that subset, we can create the report. Let me switch to a demo and show you how it's done. I've started a new project here in Enterprise Guide, and I'm going to add the product orders data to the project. So this contains information about total sales for different product groups uh, within each order type. So I've got some catalog sales for different groups. And scrolling down further, I've got internet sales for these different product groups. And finally at the bottom, the retail sales for different product groups. And the, the total sales for each of those product groups within each order type. So the first thing I'm going to do with this is to uh, rank those values for total sales and do the rankings within each order type group. So I can click on data and then invoke the rank task. And I want to rank then on the total sales, so that's the column I'm ranking, but I want to do that within each order type group. Then in the options here, instead of ranking from smallest to largest, I'm going to reverse that, so rank number one will mean the highest value for total sales within a group. I'll go ahead and run that, and here's these rank values that have been generated. And so this value of 8 here means that this value for total sales was the 8th highest within the catalog sales group. Scrolling further down, I'll also have the rank for the internet sales groups and the retail sales groups. So here's the number one ranking group was skates. Sold $5,200 worth of skates. Now that I've got the rank values, I'm going to go ahead and filter this data, so I'm only outputting the rows where the rank is 5 or lower. Those will be the top 5 values within each group. So I'll click on the Filter and Sort task. And what I want to do is output everything, so I'm going to select Output All the data. In the filter, though, I'm only going to output the rows where that rank is less than or equal to 5. I'm also going to sort the data for the purpose of the report that's going to follow, so I'm going to sort it first by order type, and then within each order type I want to sort it by that rank value. So I'll go ahead and execute the filter and sort. And we see now that I've created an output data set where I've only got the five highest ranks, one through five, and that's within each order type. So it's ordered by First catalog sales, internet sales, and then retail sales, and I've got the top ranking groups for total sales. Now that I've got this data, I'm ready to create the report. So I'll click on Describe, and then use the List Data task to generate the report. And I want to list out the values for Product Group, and for the total sales value. And I want to order that by uh, order type. So I'm going to group on order type and also identifying label on order type to create the layout that I want. And then in the titles, I'm going to specify that what I've got here is the top five product groups by order type. And I'll go ahead and run that one. And there we go. There's our top five report. Top five product group sales within each order type. That concludes this tip for creating top end reports. We teach this method in our course, SAS Enterprise Guide 2, Advanced Tasks and Querying. Thanks for listening.